The Arduino Galileo Generation 2 comes equipped with a mini PCI card slot in which you can insert a low-cost Wi-Fi module. The full version of the Yocto Linux operating system contains the necessary drivers to support this Wi-Fi module. Just like with the Ethernet port, the Wi-Fi module can be shared by both the Linux operating system and the Arduino sketches. In this lecture, I'll show you how to set up the Wi-Fi module and to demonstrate its use from within an Arduino sketch. Let's check it out. In the last lecture, we confirmed that we can access the Ethernet port from, the, uh, from an Arduino sketch. And in this lecture, I'd like to do the same thing for the Wi-Fi mini PCI module. So I will start by plugging the module in. To do that, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to disconnect everything. So power and Ethernet port and the client USB. Actually, remove that as well so I don't break anything. Turn the board upside down. I've got the two very long antennas because this particular module is meant to be connected in a device like like a laptop computer. So these very long leads allow you to connect the antenna somewhere around the perhaps the case of the laptop or in a window, something like that. Um, anyway, uh, because the little connectors at the back of the board are very fragile. I prefer to just leave these two connectors always on instead of plugging them and unplugging them constantly. It's a bit of uh, a mess of long wires here, but I prefer the mess than not to be able to connect the antenna on it. So um, just going to pass one of the leads one of the antennas under the cable tie. Trying to snap the cable, all right. And just plug it here. Snap it in, all right. And the cable tie will just hold it from popping up because there's a, there's a spring action on this connector and without the cable tie, this board is going to bounce up and it's going to be in an angle. So that's why I used the cable tie. I didn't want to use a box because then we wouldn't be able to see the board uh, in these videos. So I just went for the option of the cable tie. Okay. Turn the board around to have better access to the connectors. All right, so I will plug in the serial to USB interface first. So we can see what is happening on the monitor. And then I will plug in power to have it rebooted. And back into booting. It's trying to configure the Ethernet port now, but the cable is not connected. to log on to the Linux account, but it's okay. Next thing I'll do is to connect the client USB port and go to the Arduino IDE and bring up the Wi-Fi example just to double check that that actually works. So here's Wi-Fi for Galileo specifically, and let's pick a Wi-Fi web client. So I've got my network 
I'm going to put in my network information and then there's uh, the server for Google so it's going to try and access Google as a remote server and connect to it and then try to get a page fetched from Google to test that the Wi-Fi connection works. So let's put in my credentials here, right, and upload the sketch. And have a look at the response from Google. Attempting to connect to my Wi-Fi network. And it connected, so it connected to Wi-Fi network and it got an IP address and uh, then went out to Google and fetched a web page. Great. So I'll do one more little example. I'd like to see if I can set up a web server running on the Arduino. It's exactly the same thing. I'm going to provide my SSID and the password and then it's going to have a web server listening to the assigned IP address that will give me out the analog readings from the analog pins. So let's provide my credentials again and upload the sketch. Trying to connect to the Wi Fi network. Okay, and it did connect. So that's my IP address. Let's pick up a web browser. And let's connect to Galileo via Wi Fi. There you go. So readings from the analog pins and printing those out and refreshing every few seconds. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to close all that down so we know that we have Wi-Fi access using the mini PCI Wi-Fi module now accessible from my Arduino sketches. In the next lecture, I'll show you how to use the space on the SD card to store data from sensors, to, for example, to build a data logger. I'm also going to show you how to use this space to allow for the Linux side and the Arduino side to interact with each other. By doing so, you can actually use uh, system commands from your Arduino sketches that execute, for example, Python scripts or other Linux operating system commands and then get the results uh, to the Arduino side. And to do that, you need to store the results of the execution of one of those uh, commands or Python scripts onto the file system and then get your Arduino sketch to pick up those results from a file on the file system and then do further processing. So we'll do that in the next lecture.